Hi guys, it's the RPG Brit here and welcome back to my let's play of Tales of Arise. Um, so, we're just going to go off into this new area. Right, as I've said on the previous video, um, I'm going to only really show the bits that actually advance the uh, sub-quests and I will show fighting new monsters and things like that. This must be it. Looks pretty ancient, but I recognize Renan architecture when I see it. It's seen some beatings. If it stayed sealed all this time, it's not because people left it alone. It's not just their technology. The Renans build their structures out of special materials, too. Strong enough to withstand assaults from Danon tools and weaponry, anyway. So, how the hell are we...? There we go. <laughs> this is very high-tech now. <laughs> that may not have been a fancy feast we just had, but I don't remember the last time I felt this full. Do the Renans often not give you all enough to eat? It's never enough. The Renans decide exactly how much we'll have and when we'll have it, and that's that. We do our best to get around it. Everyone has to grow their own food and such behind the Renans' backs in order to get by. Thinking about it now, I wonder if they've always kept it meager so we would never have the energy to try to resist what they've done it's to probably, us. It's probably yeah. a, um, a good I shout there, to be honest. takes its toll on the body and the spirit after a while. How does a Renan like you know what it's like? I may be Renan, but they don't like me either. I could be squeaky clean and they still wouldn't give me anything. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Did your stomach just... I didn't hear anything. <laughs> you just ate. How are you already... I said I didn't hear anything. <sighs> I still have some I haven't eaten yet. Do you want it? Sure. Oh, isn't that nice? They're bonding. I hate right. that I can see what's on the other side. But I can't just walk in. <sighs> It's a defensive barrier. That's how it works. If we want to get through... There you go. <laughs> Looks like this place used to be a supply base of some sort. It probably even dates back to the Great Conquest of three centuries ago. For an abandoned place, sure is crawling with critters. Kind of makes you wonder how they all got in. Through cracks in the walls, I guess. Maybe it's a good environment for these species to propagate in. Best not to let your guard down either way. Agreed. I don't know about you, but I'm not looking to hang around here any longer than necessary. Oh yeah, so I do. Uh, I do a couple of these fights, um, but then after that, I won't. Um, I won't film anymore until we're advancing the story. Or oh, if anything interesting happens, really. I think that way, uh, you guys won't get bored seeing the same fights over and over again. And also, hopefully, the videos won't be quite as long. Well, they'll still be the same length, but I mean, won't be as many videos to complete the game. Because I think this one is pushing on like 40, 50 hours to complete, something like that. Got some mushrooms. There's some guessing leads to a different floor. Yeah, that goes up. Right, so let's uh, remember that that is there. Take these guys out. I'm saving the uh, special as well. Just because I mean, these guys are pretty easy. As you can see. Which is another reason why I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep filming them. Together, that wasn't even a problem. Right, yeah, so we've gone the right way to get everything. 
Life Bowl, a miraculous medicine that heals KO for one ally during battle, as well as restoring 800 HP. Chest of some sort? Nice. A Renin kind. Yeah. So I'm not actually entirely sure how to um inside. how to use items. If you can actually use them in battle or not, I don't know. Right, okay, so these are all things that we've already fought. So, I'm going to uh, stop filming here, but I'll join you back as soon as we get to something a little bit more interesting. So I'll see you in just a sec. Right, welcome back. Uh, I started filming because it looks like we are pretty much at the objective. This yep, there we go. Be the former owner's old wardrobe, yeah. I wonder how long they've hung here. They don't look like they've aged a day. The designs are a little dated, but it'll have to do. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Listen, I get it. You care how you look. But we've got places to... Oh. Does he like what he sees? <sighs> I mean, it's odd. What is it? But, uh, looks good, though. No, I. Uh, nothing. We've kept Zephyr and the others waiting long enough. We should head back. Noble Rose, an old fashioned rifle found in some Renan ruins. Okay, so she's actually got a rifle from it as well. That's quite cool. And. Scarlet, okay. Tiara. Okay, that's all of our equipment. You're in a good mood. Were you right. happy to find a new outfit? I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. I'm the same as ever. Yeah, yeah. Right, so it doesn't look like there's anything else here. So I will uh, stop recording and I'll see you in just a second. You said before that this probably used to be a supply depot, right? That Nay thought it was a Renan castle. I wonder what it actually is. Who knows? Who knows? What, can't I not know something? <laughs> you didn't think I knew every last thing about my own kind, did you? I didn't say that. <sighs> from what I've heard, a lot of the materials that were initially brought over from Rena 300 years ago were repurposed for other things over time. So it's entirely possible that this place used to be both a supply depot and a lord's castle at different points in time. They're not mutually exclusive. Makes I sense. couldn't tell you when the lord's castle moved to its current location, though. Well, satisfied? Uh, yeah. Thank you. You know, for telling me about all that. <laughs> uh, it's not like I mentioned anything that useful. Come on, let's keep moving. Yeah, I really like um I really like those little um like sketches or skits, I don't know, I don't know what you'd call them. But I think they're they're a really good way of breaking up the gameplay. Um and they don't take that long and it just adds you know, adds a bit of background, adds a bit of character development, all that kind of stuff. I really like them. Um so I'm definitely gonna try and watch them as much as possible. But they seem to, they seem to just come at random times, I just need to keep an eye out for that. Little R1 symbol down in the bottom right corner. I have to be in this world. Don't worry, I've got your back. Right, I've already opened that. Okay, cool. Right, so um, and you can actually see. Look, if you look on the food icon, it's it's going down as I'm uh, as time's going. So that's quite good. It gives you a good indication of when um, when the buffs are going to run out, which is cool. I like that. Um, but yeah, cool. So um, I'm, I'm just going to go through here. And if there's nothing of note that's going to happen, then I will stop recording. Yeah, we better. Oh, let's we see what they say. To waste. Someone's in a hurry. Fast travel. Okay, cool. 
Um, as you pass through campgrounds to other locations, you unlock fast travel points. To return to them instantly, open the map list from the area and pick a point. Note some areas may be inaccessible at certain times. The story makes sense. Right, so, how do I fast travel? So, enter that map. Got another quest there. Let's uh, fast travel here then. I think um, going forward, I mean, this is just me trying out We've the fast travel. Destination. <laughs> it's like a sat nav. Um, but I think going forward, I probably won't fast travel that much because I want to try and um, farm a little bit or as much as possible anyway. Uh, but let's pick this up while we're here. Hey, you're that iron mask that Zephyr brought in, yeah? Can I ask you for a small favour? Yeah. Sure, what is it? I appreciate you being so quick to help. Here's the deal. We're running short on food. Okay, granted, it's something of an ongoing problem around here. The soil around here doesn't have much to offer, and our crops are doing even worse in it than usual, than, than usual lately. There. I won't ask you to go fetch anything crazy. Just some wheat and potatoes would help plenty. I've already got loads. Let's How's hand it over. Would this be enough to tide you over? We found it outside of town. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Are you sure I can have it? As much as we need fresh fruit that grows out of the wild, I just can't ask anyone to go pick it with all of the zoogles running around. So don't mind if I go ahead and help myself to what you've got. <laughs> you were a big help. We couldn't exactly afford to risk stirring up a hornet's nest, uh, reducing bright eyes, cut and all. Um, with all this extra food, now we can feed all of the kiddos who's had to go hungry of late. Glad to hear it. Just happy to do what I can to help. Of course. I might not be able to see your face, but I can tell that you're a good soul. I don't have much to offer in return, but I can teach you a recipe that's really easy to prepare, if you like. Definitely want that. If you're talking about that one that uses wheat, I already know that. Okay. Okay, in that case, how about a potato recipe? This one's also simple to fix and tastes good. It's a lifesaver when Thanks. you're real hungry. Sounds good. I'll give it a shot sometime. Great. You absolutely should. You can't operate in tip-top shape on an empty stomach. That's cool. Steamed potato recipe. <laughs> Sorry for the side trip. We got to learn a new dish. I'll take what I can get, really. Let's nah. cook it next time we make camp. Is that why she went along with this? <laughs> Thinking of her stomach. Now nah, that's cool. I like that. Um, right. So, what is the green? Oh, okay, I can't go to the green symbol. Crap. Zephyr, we've got a huge problem. Hmm? Something bigger than our attack on Belseph's castle. Because I don't have any time to worry about anything else right now. Yes, bigger than that. The bright eyes. They started masquerading folks all over Caliga. Yes. They must be after her master core. Guessing the enemy must be getting serious about retrieving it. They must be if they're willing to kill the slaves. They need to harvest astral energy. Moscow got hit real bad. What? Are you sure about that? Positive. It's the closest town to where we attacked them earlier. I feel bad for our people there. But them's the breaks. Bastards. Are we going to go and fight them? Just where do you think you're going? You know where. Moscow. Yeah, Wait, make your way to most school. I don't need your permission. <laughs> awesome. So I guess we're going to be going there. Um, but let me just see what this green symbol is. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, it was the guy, the person that we can ask questions to. That's absolutely fine. Uh, right. So I reckon we just carry on. I mean, it looks great, doesn't it? It's very, very cool. Fast travel point added. All right, let's have a look at this map. Oh, no, that's the help. No, what was the tell of the map? Square, there we go. God, that feels stupid. Um, right, okay, so we've got a uh, mystery thing there. Um, these things are like elevators. Well, there was one in the in the last area. And obviously some ladders. Okay, cool. So, uh, I'm going to stop recording. 
and I'll come back as soon as I find anything interesting um, or a new enemy or something like that or we get to this mosque school so yeah I'll see you in just a sec right so we just started recording because we are fighting some more of these guards so I thought and th these are guys literally just wandering around this uh, this open area I can't see what level they are. It disappears once you start the fight, but that's fine. I have every faith that we find. Let's actually use some of our special attacks. Let's do that to interrupt them. They are pretty tough, they've got a lot of HP, but they go down just as uh, just as much as the others. Iron Dog Tag. You simply can't be too strong when battle is a part of your everyday. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, no, I just wanted to film that one bit. What's in here? This looks like some sort of barracks or like a mess hall or something. That's cool. Scrap meat, What's nice. Hopefully we can use that for cooking. Can we open this one? Oh yeah, we can. It wasn't glistening for some reason. 500 gold, nice. That looks about it. There are fewer yeah. soldiers stationed at the garrison than usual. They must have gotten deployed to Mosgul. Doc, cool. Everyone please be safe. Yeah, so this um, this area is quite big. It didn't look that big when I was um, looking at the map, but it's much, much bigger than you think. But we've had to fight quite a lot of these guys. Um, the like wolf looking ones, like the skinnier ones. And then that was the first time that we came across those guards. So that's cool. Um, Let's keep moving. We're going to have a look in here. Um, I'll stay, I'll stay filming just in case there's anything interesting here. Cave of Solitude. Well, it's a, quite a small area. Um, let's have a look. It kind of looks like the area where you might go for a boss fight, to be honest. And we are, you can see our... Oh, wow. The water's so much cleaner than what's on the surface. I can see fish swimming around. Yeah, and boy, do they look delicious. <laughs> never mind. She's always, uh, always talking about her stomach. It's beautiful, though. But there's the fish. We can't go in the water or anything. This is the end. But yeah, so as, as I was saying, like, my food's running out, so I am going to try and find um, a campsite. Let's actually come out of here. We'll have a look at the map. Um, yeah, so I can't actually see any campsites yet. So we've, I basically came here, this doesn't work, and then I came up here and around, that's all I've done. Obviously I stopped up in there. So I'm gonna go back up around there. I'm not gonna take a right, I'm gonna take a left instead and just explore this area. Um, but yeah, I will come back if there is anything else interesting. And it looks like they just respawn because I've uh, left the area, but that's fine. Just means a little bit more farming, but yeah, I'll, um, I'll see you guys in a sec. Right, so as you can hear by that noise, I've found another owl. It's making a much weirder noise than the other one. So I'm going to grab this, and then... What do we get? Cattail! Awesome. Um, I'm surprised there are owls here too. Yeah. You say that every time. Every time. Um, but we've done everything in this area now, so I'm just going to go through here, and I might as well just carry on recording. Let's see what happens. Right. Let's do our um, good moves against it. 
finish this one quickly. I think he might be a little bit tougher than the others. There we go. Hey, hang in there. Hey, damn it. Oh dear, I guess he's gone. Save the residents. I'm going to keep um, keep recording this one. I I don't know anything really. Please don't kill me. I beg you. Oh, Jesus, they're terrified. Oh, it ticks to say once I've spoken to them. That's quite cool. Maybe I will go and go around and actually talk to more people in that case. I've kind of been skipping the ones that don't give. Too late. Stop! Please, don't hurt the children. What's that? Damn it! I can't reach them in time. Alright. Check here. Uh, nothing here. Damn it! We keep our heads down and we do as we're told, and this is the thanks we get. They didn't even listen to what we had to say, they just killed without second thought. That's crazy. Right. Get back, Cole! Duck! Cole! Stop! Not if I can help it! Oh. Here I come! Here's the healing heart! You're finished! First aid! Really need to rest at a campfire to see the CP king. Quite low. I mean, you still got 58, which is bad. But it's not ideal. I really can't wait to get a new blade as well. I mean, that rusty sword is just. Are you all right? Great. What about the others? Are those bastards still here? Iron Mask, take it easy. It's all right now. Most were able to escape, and we've survived. Honestly, we got off lucky. It's often worse when a resistance group pops up. Lucky? You call people getting slaughtered like this lucky? This is how things go when you're a Danon slave. You're dead if you stand up to them. Keep your head down and do as you're told. At least then you have a chance to survive. You only have one life. That's why... I should wait for the right moment? Yes. So someone else dies instead while we live another day. Is that what you're saying, Doc? You're willing to risk everything on the chance that things will get better if we wait long enough. But what's the point of waiting if others have to die so that we can live? What do you think happens when someone tries to resist? It'd be one thing if the rebel died and that was that. But it never ends with only one death. You've seen it for yourself. Everyone suffers for it. Knowing that, are you really going to tell me our waiting has no meaning? But that's... I understand not wanting to throw away the same lives we're trying to protect. That would be senseless. But if you wait too long, if you get too used to waiting, then eventually you lose the will to fight. I don't want that to happen to me. I have people who risk their lives to fight the Renan's oh, rule. People who know they might not live to see us win, but fight anyway to give those who come after a better chance. If my life is at risk either way, then I'd rather spend it fighting. So you've decided to take up the sword? Yes. Hell yeah. But not just any sword. It's a sword that only I can wield, but one that's also too powerful to use on my own. I doubt those who fought the Renans in the past ever had something like this on their side. That's why I'm willing to bet everything I have on this sword. I know it might mean more people end up in danger, but... Okay. If that's how you feel, then forget what I said. It's clear your time has come, Iron Mask. Maybe you was just testing us. Currently, you and that sword are the only things capable of driving the Renans back. It's because of you that we're still alive right now. If there's a way through this for all of us, then I'll put my trust in you to find it. Doc. Thank you. Now, remember what you said. And don't ever abandon that conviction of yours, alright? 
Right. I won't. You've grown so much since we first met. And you've met some good people, too. Maybe you have a chance after all. Well, let's hope we've got a chance. Right, so... What is the... Uh, return to Ulzbeck? Okay, so we're done here now. So let's have a quick look around, and then what I'll do is I'll actually save it, and I'll finish this video here. Um, but let me know in the comments if, if the way I've laid out this video is better, where I'm just sort of showing you the highlights kind of thing. Um, if you'd rather... Oh, what's that? I swear I could... Oh, there you go. Didn't even see it. It's because of the exam thing came up. <laughs> Monocle. I still don't really know what the point of these are, but... surprised there are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. Every time, you're constantly surprised. Um, but yeah, so let me know if that's how you like it, or whether you want me to just film everything I do. It will mean a lot more videos. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy to hear what you think. So... Uh, let me just talk to this kid. Uh, why? Why do the Renans have to be so cruel to us? Is it something we did? Did we do something wrong? Do you know why, Iron Mask? I just don't get it. Yeah, I don't really get it fully, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, cool. So, um, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much, and take care.